In this video, we're going to be breaking down the most optimized methods to get ores as fast as possible for all players, and we're going to start off by discussing the new Raid Metal Shop update. And guys, you really want to stick around for this because this is going to be a detailed analysis for players of all levels. Now, in the past two weeks, I've done quite a bit, like fast during the month of Ramadan, get sick, and of course, take this amazing image of the eclipse. And although most of you are probably wondering when my photography channel will start, a bigger portion of you are probably wondering about whether or not you should spend your raid medals on the new ores that are available. Specifically, if you should spend your raid medals on ores over the hero potions, as this was the previous recommendation that I gave all of you. Now, among all of these options, there is one good thing that stands out as a really good deal. However, before we talk about that good deal, let's go ahead and talk about the deal that is the sponsor for today's video, G2A.com, the world's largest marketplace for digital entertainment. Not only have G2A.com been a trusted sponsor for this channel before, but they are also now having a spring sale with an amazing deal on some of the best titles on their website. This deal includes some of the top titles in the gaming industry, as well as keys for amazing software and platform. And for those of you that like a little bit of surprise, the random keys feature goes a long way in providing it, and it also adds a little bit of variety to your reward. I've also personally bought from G2A before and they are a really solid company. I had no issues and they have been around for a really long time. To take full advantage of the discount, make sure that you have at least two products in your cart and that those products are worth less than 50 euros. Guys, don't waste any time. This is a really amazing deal and one that you should be taking full advantage of by clicking the link in the description. And thank you so much G2A.com for sponsoring this video. Now back Back to the raid medals and auras, I did a lot of calculations in the background and I'm not going to bore you with all of the calculations that I did, but I'm just going to show you a table that demonstrates my findings. Ah, here it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? On a real note, here is the table that I'm talking about. This table compares how expensive a single piece of ore is in terms of gems or raid medals. And you should know that for this, I took the gem prices in the shop since they're twice as good as buying them from the blacksmith. Now generally, Supercell could compete with Simone Biles when it comes to balance, especially when it comes to prices of things in the shop as well as how valuable the ores are. But this time, the table shows a little bit of discrepancy. As you guys can see, the price that you pay for shiny ore makes raid medals and gems almost equal value, while the price that you pay for starry or glowy ore makes the raid medals a lot less comparable to gems. This means that you actually get the best value out of your raid medals when you buy shiny ores with them rather than buying globy or starry ores. Even without looking at the math, for 350 raid medals, you get 500 shiny ore, while for 150 gems, you get 300 shiny ore, so it looks like a pretty sweet deal even on the surface. And don't forget that a single training potion will cost you 100 raid medals, but only 25 gems, making the general raid medal to gem ratio 4 to 1. Thus, by buying the shiny ores with your raid medals, you're not only getting a really good deal, but you're getting actually better value out of your raid medals than you would if you bought something else. But where does this leave the situation of glowy ores? I mean, after all, we know that glowy ores are the limiting resource when it comes to upgrading hero equipment. Well, because you're going to be spending your raid medals on your shiny ores, glowy ores immediately become the optimum purchase with your extra gems because of the value that they get in that regard. Of course, that's only if you have five builders, which if you don't at this point, what are you doing? I mean, come on guys, it's not 2013 anymore. We have Titans League, right? Just push to it already, we'll be okay. So gems for glowy ore, raid medals for shiny ore, but where does that leave us with the three hero potions that I recommended you guys buy from the raid metal shop every single week? Well, to figure this out, let's go ahead and invert it completely. If you didn't buy those three hero potions every single week for 450 raid medals, you'd need to upgrade your heroes so that you can perform well in normal war and in clan war leagues. And if you did that, not only would you invest a lot of resources, builders, and time, but 
but it would also be in your best interest to buy books of heroes as well, which cost 500 gems a piece. Thus, you would actually be more inefficient because you'd be sacrificing build time you could use elsewhere and you wouldn't be able to buy glowy ores or gems. Clearly we can see that not buying these three hero potions is not an option because the advantage that they give us is way too significant. Therefore the number one priority for raid medals is still those three hero potions even though we can buy ores from the shop now. The best way to go about this is like this. Buy the three hero potions then buy two packs of shiny ores if you can. Now that in itself will cost about 1150 raid medals per week. For players who make even more raid medals than that, you can go ahead and spend your excess raid medals on glowy ore. And if you use this method, you can spend all of your extra gems after the fifth builder on the glowy ore packs for gems. And I believe this is the most efficient way to deal with the new changes. But this video isn't simply about what the best value for raid medals is, it's also an updated guide on maximizing ores for all players. Now a few months ago I also made another guide like this but it didn't include everything I went over just now so I, I wanted to do that first. Now to talk about the changes that I had from the previous guide. Now one of the mainstays of generating more ores in Clash of Clans is through battling in higher leagues and according to this chart in Clash Spot, a lot of players are still stuck in Gold League and Crystal League. However, this goes against my latest recommendation which is to be in the highest league that you possibly could be in. Now when you get attacked in Clash of Clans, you'll probably get a shield that is around 12 to 15 hours long and assuming that you're losing 30 trophies on a defense, you just need to make sure that you're getting at least 40 trophies or so every time you get attacked to ensure that you're moving up the ladder. I think Champions League is the very minimum for most players to be able to get to, however if you're Town Hall 14 or higher you really should be aiming for Titans League or above to maximize the amount of ores that you're getting. Another key component to getting ores is war and the easiest way to make this work is to run back to back wars as often as possible in your clan. At the end of the day wars is a numbers game and I'll make a detailed video in the future talking about how your clan could win a lot more wars but for right now just running back to back wars is the best thing that you could possibly do. The very last thing which I'm pretty sure that most of you do already is to make sure that you're making the most out of the many events that we have gotten and will undoubtedly get in the future to help us get more ores. If you do these five things you will undoubtedly be able to max your ores without having to use your credit card or steal someone else's. And just to recap these five things are buying shiny ores with raid medals, buying glowy ores with gems, getting to the highest league possible, running back to back wars and completing and participating in all events. However there is one resource that we didn't mention and that resource is the CWL medal. And with CWL just ending it's really important that you guys know how to spend these medals for optimum efficiency. That's why you need to watch this video right here because it's the only thing that's holding you back from an optimum playstyle in Clash of Clans.